about my feelings for you. Watch them grow. What's up, YouTube growers? Welcome to another episode of Underground Growers. I'm your main vein iceberg stem. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble a Easy Cloner 16. First thing you want to do is check your sprayers. Now check your sprayers. You want to screw these into the little holes that they make for them. Just like this. You don't want to screw them in too tight. Just nice and snug. Not too tight. Some of these come with four holes, some of them come with six holes. I have a upgraded, updated Easy Counter 16. Your mine just came with nine holes. So. However many holes you have, just install these players. Used this easy cloner once before, worked pretty good. Uh, my clones actually rooted in about five days. The first time, so it's been a little while. But it's time to put it back in. Use it again. So. Once we have our sprayers in, next thing we want to do is take our reservoir and fill it with water. You want to make sure this reservoir is nice and clean. You don't want the debris to wash up into your your motor, and clog up your motor. So next, make sure it's cleaned up, nice and wiped out. Cleaned out. I'm going to be using regular tap water. I'm going to pH this down to 5.8 once I add my Clonex. So right now I'm going to add two gallons to start with and then submerge my motor into that two gallons. So that's right now I'm going to add two gallons of water. You don't want to screw this in too tight. Break the housing. Get it nice and nice and snug. So have that in there. It's a little extra piece that's carved out of your reservoir that's where your cord is going to come out so you want to direct this cord towards the place that's coming out for it and submerge your 
pump into the water. Now we wanna we wanna add some more water. There's two gallons in here of water already. We're gonna add a little bit more because I want it to come up at least halfway to this. I'm about my halfway. don't want to turn this pump on until it's completely submerged in water. You could, you could ruin the pump by turning it on before you have it in water. Get this nice and centered. Okay. You don't want the water to come. So right now we'll say about about two and a half gallons of water is in here now. And that's, that should be enough. Now next, I use Clonex when I'm cloning. I figure that seems to work pretty good for me. I'm gonna stick with some other brands out there, but Clonex has been pretty, pretty reliable. So I'm gonna stick with it. Now this say use five to 10 milliliters per gallon of water, British water, per liter. Let's just say use five to 10 milliliters per liter. So we got two gallons in here per liter. A liter is four liters in a gallon. So it's five, 10, 15, that's 20 and 40 and a half. 50 milliliters of Conex. Uh, that's too much. I'm gonna put that less than half. I'm probably gonna use about 30 milliliters, 20 to 30 milliliters of Conex. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that now. Probably will want to uh, plug this up while it's submerged in water and make sure all that your sprayers are working properly before you add your Clonex or your nutrients to your water. You just don't want to spray it out and waste it. And another thing, you might want to be outside or in your bathroom, your bathtub, or somewhere because once you plug this up, water is going to go crazy. So unless you have this top on it, you can look down this top on it, look down in the hole and check it out. I like to set mine in the tub or outside, plug it up and make sure all my sprayers working properly. I already did that so I'm not gonna do it now. I'm just gonna take you to the next step, which is adding the 30 milliliters of comments. Take this and stir it up. And once you do that, I'm going to also add some clear ass. This clear ass wants you to add an ounce every five days. But this is expensive. This, this stuff is kind of expensive. This is only a two ounce bottle. 
and I gotta use half of it. So I'm just gonna use, it, it worked fine last time, I used about, uh, I think I used about 15 to 20 milliliters of it. What it does, it, it keeps, this Clonex helps your clones to grow roots. This clear as it helps keep the reservoir clean of bacteria, everything, the fungus, and everything that could grow in the water and on your roots. So this clear as keeps it clean. This Clonex helps the roots, the uh, clones to root. So I'm going to add 20 milliliters. It says add an ounce to every five gallons. So I'm going to use 20 milliliters. It's only one way to put this top on. Uh, it's not a perfect square. You can't put it on the wrong way. It won't fit. So it's only one way to put this on. That's it. Then you want to take your, your tops. Just add them in. Okay, so once you have all these put in, you can get different colors. These are the ones that came with the Easy Clone. Uh, we use these one more time and then I'm probably going to order some more. They have these in different colors. Help you to keep up if you're cloning different strands. So right now, they have these one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, to help you kind of keep up with it. But once you get to this point, you want to turn it on, let it run for 24 hours, and then you're ready to start coming. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps you with your grow. Like, subscribe, and keep going. My feelings for you Watch them grow